scrollable, dark themed, animated. This is how PDFs should be in 2020 using Microsoft Sway application that I'm going to go through how you can convert your Word document into this in about a minute. I kid you not. Hello, welcome to this video. My name is David Benayim and I make tons of videos on loads of business software, including Excel, PowerPoint, Word, Power BI, Sway that I'm going to show you today as well. Please consider subscribing if you like what you see. It's got all these really cool things like this is what you can do with an image or you can embed content directly that can be interacted as if you were in that application on its own. It's a really, really rich platform to be able to convey messages or what I use it for is proposals. I just don't do proposals anymore by PDF. I just do it like this because it's great. Do You see how this is scrolling and keeping that effect there videos to my YouTube channel that are directly embedded there. It could be maximized. Hello. PDFs are outdated. They have pages. When we stopped printing things, anything that is paginated is completely pointless. Plus, there's just a lot of other things that just don't work that well with them. You want something that's animated. You want something that is mobile optimized because nowadays we read things on mobile phones, tablets, computers, whatever it is, and we want it to just work on everything. And dark themed is very trendy right now. It's pretty cool. And that is why for proposals in particular, you want to make someone look at your proposal and 20 others and remember yours for sure. Use Sway. So the broad process I'm going to take you through today goes like this. Start off with importing a Word document into Sway and then add your background and your logo at the top of your Sway file. Then set the colors and the style. Now, as opposed to PowerPoint or Word, you would just do this one time for everything. And that sort of decides so many little bits from the animations to the emphasis to colors, etc. as I'll show you in a sec. Add content. So this could then be adding your images, your video, your media file. Then we're going to fine tune the content by choosing what's called intensity and maybe text emphasis. We are going to group certain objects. So there is a certain trick that allows you to keep an image static when you scroll down text, which is really cool or you can combine images in different ways to give you comparisons or other features. Then we'll go through how to remove the watermark, which has made by Sway and how to share it, including password protected sharing. And finally, looking at analytics of your Sway, how many people have viewed it, what they're looking for, how long they stay on it, etc. Sway is built into Office 365 or it comes as a free product as well. So if you have Office 365, you can navigate to it like this. And then if you go, eventually you'll find Sway and that will bring you to this menu. You can also get Sway for free as long as you have any Microsoft account. So if you have a free Outlook.com or Hotmail.com email address or even a Skype account, you can access Sway in the same way. If you don't have a free one, then just create one. It's as simple as creating a Gmail account. So I'm going to click on start from a document. I'm going to do this test for Sway. Press OK. Making your Sway web page. And then it's scrolling it there. And look how fast that was. Now, it's done a lot of the hard work. It's obviously not quite as sophisticated as the one I just showed you. But I'm going to show you the key things that you need for that. Uh, let me show you the source document. This is the source document that I started from that I just uploaded. And it is showing you all the same images, all the same wording. It identifies what the titles are and it puts them in what it calls the title cards that are very animated, the header cards. And then the rest of the stuff, it just sort of takes across like this. Right, now let's uh, see some things that I think are really, really essential for this. So once you have your Sway, you can click edit in the Sway platform. You can start from scratch. I tend not to do that. 
I'm going to do a storyline. So you've got these two tabs, the storyline and the design tab, and I'm going to add a background. So there's a few ways to get a background. Uh, you can click on this and then search directly for it. Instead, I'm going to open PowerPoint, go to insert pictures and stock images because PowerPoint has thousands of stock images that are beautiful and allow you to do whatever you want. So let's just search for something here. Let's go for a colorful one. I'll show you why in a bit. And then I'm going to copy that. And here back in Sway, I'm going to open up the details over here and add background. And I'm going to paste it there like that as well. I could do the same with my logo. I'm going to add my logo as well. That way. You can do it with copy and paste or you can just upload it from your computer or use the search that I'll show you in a little bit as well. And now the biggest part about Sway. So if you go to the design tab and then you click styles over here, you get these sort of layout options. And I think of Sway as the like antithesis of like PowerPoint. Because PowerPoint, you have very granular control over every object. In Sway, you just sort of pick something like this and everything just drastically changes from the font to the style, to the animations, to the cards, to the backgrounds, etc., etc. So from my advice, I have done a lot of experience and I'd say choose from the first or the third row. In fact, there are seven rows over here and each row offers a unique sort of theme and variance within that theme underneath. Uh, there's lots of complicated things that make up that theme, so I'm not going to go into it. But I am going to make another video where I go through them because it's not incredibly obvious when you pick one of these things what that does. For example, this one does not animate the headers, but this one does. So what are the things that are going to lead you to those discussions? For now, choose from the first block or the third block from the top. So I'm going to go to this block and choose this purple one, but I'm going to customize it because up here you have the options to customize it. So you can choose from a pre-built color palette or what I tend to do is I choose my logo and then get it to pick up the color based on that. How cool is that? So I tend to like the dark themed ones. So these ones have dark themed with white text like that. Looks pretty nice. You can also change the font, the animation emphasis, and the text size if you want to, but I keep it as it is, so let's undo that. Great, and then if you go to the play, you can get a preview of how it's going to look. Going back to the storyline, let's go to the third thing. So now the third thing is, I'm going to click play and we'll see sort of what's going on. So it does animate these logos like this, and it looks okay when it's on the side. What tends to not look very nice, in my opinion, is that this is just showing you only half your screen. So this is all sort of wasted space. Sway expects you to add an image here or some kind of content. So I identify the ones that I am looking for, and I keep going as to where they could be. So it treats a table as an image, and I'm going to add a few images to go through this specific thing. So over here in this section, I'm going to add some videos. So I can press plus and choose to get some videos. And then it opens up this sort of searchable thing. Now I can just look for David Benheim Excel and get a couple of ideas from that. So I'm gonna click on a few of these really great videos course I would say that and it's put them in over here and now I'm going to go scroll down here and choose an image so it's essentially actually the same dialog box it's just an image and let's look for a blue whale there we go get one that looks pretty immersive because I've gone with a dark theme let's look for a dark color that'll do and I'm going to show you a trick here one thing about Sway is that it's very easy to do a lot of things, but if you want to do a specific feature, it's not incredibly obvious how. So if I tick on this one 
and then I also tick on this one, and then I choose group. I can choose a group type, I just leave it as blank, um, because what grouping does is not really what you'd expect. So if I scroll down, I got my videos popping up there, and you see how my image stays in place as I scroll down? So that is what the grouping feature does. Not incredibly obvious, right? <laughs> These videos can be auto-played, as I showed you in the earlier example, and it goes directly up to YouTube. You can click there to make it full screen or whatever you want. This thing that's emphasized here, this is changing the intensity of a card. So edit this text card. If you click in it, you have these intensity options. So this one, it's in the more intensity options. It, Sway decided to do that because I had it in a different size or whatever, but you can change it as you want, or even you can only emphasize or accent a certain number of things. So instead of bold and italics, Sway decides to call these things emphasize and accent. And that's because depending on which style you use, these might be italics or they might just be a different color or they might be something else. Um, so this is done within text boxes, these accent or emphasis, but also you can choose the intensity for images as well, or videos. If you group together images, you can choose which style you want. So the comparison, this is the one that I showed you uh, in the example, and these are some other advanced ones, so we'll see what that looks like. And also you have this thing called focus points. So you might wanna say that um, the certain objects are important, and that way, if PowerPoint decides to chop it like this, it will be forced to include that. So maybe I wanna shift that towards like this, and it shows how it would look in both mobile and on PC. Notice again, I will say that this is mobile optimized. So comparison works better when they're uh, the same size like the example I had earlier, but this is how you could do it. So um, if you click on these three dots, you can go to settings for this sway, and you can say that viewers and co-authors can duplicate it. If you untick that, you can choose the print and export options. You, the autoplay I don't really like but show sway informational footer, that's something that I tend to take off. So it's the watermark right at the bottom. It just makes you look a little bit cooler if you don't have a made by sway at the end. <laughs> if you wanna share this, click on share, and then you can choose which parameters, anyone with a link, any specific people, and whether you want them to view or edit it, or more options allows you to choose a password, which is pretty cool. So you can also get a visual link and then you can just paste this in. It has kind of some embedded content with an image and with the text, just makes it nice to paste it somewhere else. Final thing when you are in Sway itself, so you click on this to go back to my Sways, you can choose to start from a topic, start from a document like I showed you, or create new from scratch. You also have this cool stuff, which is analytics. You can see how many people have looked at your sways, how long they spent on it, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and what they looked through. So that's a pretty cool way to be able to emphasize that. Another thing when you are in the play mode is you can click on this and it allows the user to navigate between the different sections in a visual way. So to recap, this is where we started off. So these nine steps, which is what I tend to do when I make a sway from a Word document. As long as you keep to it, it's not too bad, but um, I've learned the hard way that these are the steps that I really, really like and are extremely powerful. Um, you can obviously have your own style, but I find that these work very, very well to give you a slick diagram. If you liked this video, then I have plenty more videos that come out every week on everything from Excel to PowerPoint to Word to OneDrive to Zoom or Google Sheets. Please consider subscribing for more awesome content. Thanks for watching.